What's up guys? I wanted to unbox and give my first impressions to Spinnaker's all new Picard. This is their most ambitious, most aggressive, and most expensive Spinnaker model, as you can tell by the presentation. So uh, this just arrived at my doorstep and I'm gonna get to the watch and I'll be right back. And here it is. And I will give a full review on this a little later on when I put it through its paces, but mainly I wanna see if I can actually get used to or adjust to a watch of this size. This is a big boy. But right now I want to just give my first impressions from the unboxing of this watch because I just it just arrived today. So it is in 47 millimeters, which is fine, right? We see a lot of watches still made in 47 millimeters in diameter, but its real effect comes from its thickness. It is 25 millimeters tall, and mainly because of that domed bulbous sapphire crystal right there, which is meant to reflect the looks and feel of the Bathyscap Trieste. And it is sapphire. We might be aware that Spinnaker doesn't always use a sapphire crystal. A lot of times they'll use a mineral crystal, so it just makes sense. And I'm really happy to report that they are using a sapphire crystal on this one. It is. It also has this magnifying lens feature right here, and this is a really difficult watch uh, to film. It is just picking up every reflection. But I do like uh, that, that magnifying feature right there. This is the first Thing about this watch that caught my attention was just that that domed sapphire crystal uh, there's a helium escape valve this is a titanium watch and there are two versions there are there is the silver tone titanium and this is the gold finished titanium uh, really well done really nice job by Spinnaker on the finishing there is just uh, no no questioning on how well this watch is finished so this is a watch that Spinnaker doesn't make any apologies for in other words uh, it is not just a bold watch. This is a huge in-your-face watch. Uh, and instead of trying to offset or compensate the diameter or the thickness of this watch with something, well, for example, like a smaller crown or smaller hands, they did none of that. In fact, this crown is a super-sized crown and, and one that is going to give anybody tremendous ease to access this crown regardless of how thick your fingers are. And just, uh, I think the proportions are spot-on for a watch of, of this size. Um, the loom is really great, and we'll get a nice loom shot of this a, uh, in a little bit. Just a really sharp, sharp-looking uh, watch. I can't, uh, like I said, I can't imagine uh, a watch in the past that caught my attention so quickly when I really wasn't sure how I would feel about a watch of this size. They just Spinnaker did a great job in capturing that. So here is their case back, and it is a solid case back with a really nice etching right there really nice and i'm glad spinnaker did not use an exhibition case back it would not be appropriate for this so it is it is really nice there this is a serious diver's watch it is water resistant to 3300 feet instead of the uh, typical 330 feet it is 3300 feet i would never go down that far I, the human body can't survive something like that kind of depth but our Picard will. And we have to give attention to this leather strap because this is a quality leather strap. It just has a really rich aroma to it of a really fine quality leather. And it, I can tell, it is a little stiffer right out of the box, but I can tell I think this is the type of strap that will um, age and soften uh, really quickly and then it'll just mold to our wrist really nicely. But this is a hugely thick um, uh, slab of leather, just a quality leather strap right here. Just an overall really great looking watch. So I am very curious to see how I will adapt to a watch of this size. And let's let's get this under wrist right here. So we can see how thick the watch is. But really it's it is wearable. Uh doesn't really jet past the wrist bones as much uh, as I would have thought or expected. It is just a very um I think a wearable watch if you don't mind a big watch if you know if you do this is not going to be the watch for you uh big watches are not typically my thing this is my thing so i will come back to a full review and my thoughts on this a little later on but i can tell you right now just based on the unboxing of this watch uh the, before i even took the watch out of the fancy presentation here this watch really already grew on me and because this is spinnaker's most expensive most ambitious aggressive watch and it retails price for $950 you would expect it to come with a nice presentation like this including a bonus rubber strap right here so let's take a look at it on the leather leather rubber leather rubber 
I think I actually like it on the leather because I'm I'm not I'm just a desk diver, so I'm not worried about the leather uh, getting ruined. So I actually like the look of this leather, of this quality leather. So uh, I will come back, as I said, with a full review on this. And thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys the next time. And here it is. And I will give it a full review a little, a little later.